Hi, my name is Kay Adoni, and I'm really pleased to be here with you today to talk about how different people experience learning through personal learning networks. What I will be doing today is sharing 10 small stories or vignettes of some of the participants from my research. My research is looking at how teachers experience professional learning through their personal learning network. And when these teachers shared their stories with me, I was able to see not only how different everyone's experience was, but also I was able to gather a great insight into the different strategies and approaches that people take with this type of learning. Hopefully from listening to these vignettes and reading about them, you'll be able to gather information about how you might be able to better use your connections through your PLN, how you might be able to deepen your learning and enhance the learning opportunities that you're experiencing. And you might be able to see yourself in some of these stories. Or perhaps you're a completely different user of the PLN and you have a, a completely different approach. So that discovery will be interesting in itself. So the great thing about a personal or professional learning network is that it is a space and a network that you have created for yourself for your own learning. It means that you are in complete control of your space and what you want to achieve, what you want to find out. And in sharing these stories, each of these individuals also demonstrated the way that their learning networks were idiosyncratic to their own needs and goals. Before we go into sharing each of these vignettes, I just wanted to ensure every, uh, everyone is aware that names have been changed. So there is no identifiable information of the research participants in any of these stories. Let's begin with our first vignette and meet Alex. Alex is a time manager. Alex considers her PLN to be an essential part of remaining up to date and to access professional learning, especially because it's a lot more fluid and flexible than traditional experiences of professional learning, like attending professional development workshops or conferences. As she's able to fit access to her PLN into her schedule when it suits her, she's able to make her learning much more time efficient, which is of key importance to Alex because she's extremely busy and has very limited amounts of time free. Alex does find that learning through a PLN can be extremely time consuming and that it's challenging to find time efficient ways to deal with the amount of information that she accesses every day. As a result, she's constantly looking for new ways to approach her PLN and to manage her PLN so that she can get the best out of it with the least amount of time spent. Alex constantly culls and filters her network to ensure that the shared information is targeted exactly to her current needs and interests. And she generally connects to a fairly small group of people who she tends to know quite well. She limits her browsing to this small group using the list feature in Twitter, as well as by limiting her connections to those she, who she knows will be sharing high quality information. Alex changes her strategies depending upon the time that she has available. What this means is that during the term when she's exceedingly busy, she'll limit her interactions to the small group and look particularly for learning opportunities that directly connect to what she's doing at the time. Whereas during school holidays, she engages in more serendipitous learning where she tends to follow different hashtags and expand beyond that small group of connections to look further at what other people are sharing. She's very much aware of the way that she's operating at particular times during the year in order to meet her particular needs. Charlie can be described as a self-directed sharer. Charlie's fairly new to his PLN and he's really excited about the potential that he's discovered to overcome what he feels is a lack of personalization in the professional learning offerings which he is able to access normally. Charlie says that we emphasize personalized learning to meet the needs and interests of our students, but that often this is overlooked when thinking about professional development for teachers. And so he's really keen to continue to, to develop his PLN in ways that reflect his own professional interests and what he believes to be areas that he needs to learn more about. In this way, his learning is very self-directed as he's initiating his personal learning within his own time and following his own learning goals. 
Charlie also emphasises the importance of sharing as a teacher. He sees his role as centred around the sharing of knowledge and information, and this infuses with the way that he interacts with his PLN, as well as the way that he interacts with his students. Anything that he learns or discovers through his PLN, he then shares with his connections, as well as with his colleagues, and if applicable, with his students as well. Charlie's currently expanding his capacity in using a variety of different social software platforms. And as such, his PLN is quite focused on the different digital tools that he's discovering. Charlie says his PLN must constantly change in order to meet his learning needs, and also in a way that reflects his currently developing capabilities in using the social software tools he's exploring. He considers a PLN to be an essential part of the contemporary role of every teacher. Chris is a pioneering change agent. She's a dynamic and fast paced thinker, and she really loves the rapid access to changing information that her PLN provides her with. She says she's addicted to discovery. Chris works in educational technology, and therefore she finds her PLN to be a major source of support and inspiration because she's often working in areas which are quite new and where few other of her colleagues have experience or expertise. Other sources of professional learning in these areas can also be scarce. When new technology is launched, Chris goes to her PLN to find like-minded colleagues who are also experimenting and playing with these new tools. She says it's like being a fish out of water and then finding a whole lot of other fish to flop around with together. No one necessarily knows how to get back into the water, but it sure beats being washed up all alone. Chris researches examples of practice that other schools have implemented to inform her own educational decisions. And she finds when other teachers have shared what they've done, she can use this as evidence when she's going to the administration to introduce new ideas or suggestions. She finds that the constantly changing and fast paced information flow that comes through her PLN allows her to keep up to date and she has well developed content curation skills which help her manage this information so that she can find what she needs when she needs it. She also uses her PLN as an information source to research problems when teachers come to her with questions or when she encounters a tech issue in her face to face uh, school environment. Chris is really concerned that teachers who don't maintain a PLN will struggle to keep up to date and she thinks that every teacher needs connections in order to support their growth and learning in this fast paced time of change. Evan is a global connectivist. She has many connections from all over the world and works with an awareness of the influence of time zones and culture within her global network. She takes a constructivist approach to her teaching and to her learning and believes it is very important that we take the time to construct our own understandings based upon the information that we have at hand. Evan engages with a wide range of strategies to construct new knowledge and uses a variety of social software platforms to meet her learning needs, depending upon the complexity of the concept. Evan recognises that her own cognition is limited in comparison to the amount of information and knowledge that exists. And so she uses her connections to identify high quality information when she needs it. She feels that interacting with the PLN is an opportunity for her to construct personal knowledge, as well as a chance to elevate the collective knowledge of her network. And she thinks that contributing high quality content to the PLN is very important. Evan has given a lot of thought to the way that she learns through her PLN. She sees it as a process where she may begin quite broadly, gathering a lot of information from a wide range of different sources. She then curates this carefully, and then from her curated information, she creates her own understandings. During this time, while she's mulling over all of the information and drawing her own conclusions, she may even go offline for a little while. She then constructs a response, which she shares through blogging, sending her learning back out to the broader network. This learning process is very similar to the research process, 
And Evan is not the only participant who described her learning through the PLN as a particular form of research. Evan has been engaging with her PLN for quite some time, and she's noticed that some of the channels have become noisier with lots more voices and a lot of extraneous information, including marketing and advertising. This has meant that she's needed to develop explicit strategies to identify the information that she needs and that is of high quality. Jazz is an evolved connector. She's been interacting with her PLM for over 10 years and she continues to refine how she interacts and manages her connections. She recognises that it takes time to develop relationships and connections through a PLN, but emphasises that it's important to find a balance between time spent developing your PLN and time spent with family and friends. Jazz is highly aware of the public nature of the PLN and sees this as an opportunity to develop high levels of accountability and transparency. But she's also very aware that it's easy to damage one's professional reputation because of the public and permanent nature of what's shared online. Jazz has developed a very eclectic network and finds that having diverse connections can lead her to very unexpected learning opportunities. She's driven by a need and desire to continually learn. And even though the way that she interacts with her PLN has evolved over the years, she still sees it as a mesmerizing, exciting and fun way to learn. She feels very enriched by the experiences that her PLN has offered her. Jazz has been invited to present at national and international conferences and has secured new jobs and been given other learning opportunities as a result of her contributions and interactions that she's had with her PLN. Learning through her PLN has resulted in a rich online presence and a large evidence base of the type of teacher that she is and of her professionalism and expertise.